Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Today, we're taking a look at three well-known sightings of UFOs. Because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the challenges hindering space exploration. Space is still largely unexplored. Like the Wild West once upon a time, space holds many dangers and challenges. We have yet to fully surmount these, even with modern technology. If you're curious to know more, let's dive in. One of the major challenges to space exploration is escaping Earth's gravity. To leave Earth, you need to break through the atmosphere quickly with as little baggage weighing you down as possible. But gravity is a powerful force. If an object on the Earth's surface wants to break free, it needs to be flying at speeds exceeding 25,000 miles per hour. It cost NASA $200 million to launch the Mars Curiosity rover. That was about a tenth of the mission's budget. And that's without any crew members. Crewed missions are weighed down even more by personal belongings and life support items. One solution would be to use lighter materials in spaceship construction. Composite materials like exotic metal alloys and fibered sheets could reduce the weight. In combination with more efficient, more powerful fuel mixtures, it may be enough to cut costs by a significant amount. Of course, that's hypothetical for now. We don't have the technology for that yet. Maybe alien tech holds the key to improving our own, if we ever find any that can be reverse engineered, that is. But most of all, the ultimate money saver could be reusability. Quoting Les Johnson, a NASA technical assistant, as the number of flights increases, economies of scale kick in. That's the key to getting the cost to drop dramatically. SpaceX's Falcon 9, for example, was designed to relaunch time and again. The more often you visit space, the cheaper it gets. Speaking of efficiency, our current spacecraft are too slow. Hurtling through space is easy. It's a vacuum after all. Nothing will slow you down, but getting started is the harder part. The larger an object's mass, the more force it takes to move it. Rockets are massive machines. They need a lot of force. Chemical propellants are great for an initial push, but kerosene burns up within minutes. Once it's gone and the rocket is in space, it takes much longer to move. A trip to Jupiter's moons currently takes five to seven years. We definitely need more efficient fuel and better engines too. Aside from efficiency, our spaceships also require greater protection. Space is filled with debris that can severely damage ships. The US Space Surveillance Network is tracking 17,000 objects hurtling around Earth. Each is at least softball-sized, moving at speeds of more than 17,500 miles per hour. And that's not even counting the smaller pieces. If you count those, it's closer to 500,000 objects. Launch adapters, lens covers, and even flecks of paint can punch a crater in critical systems. We have the technology to protect against small pieces, fortunately. But of course, nothing can save a spacecraft from being hit by a stray satellite. The only way is for mission control to chart a course around those. Even then, tracking isn't perfect. It's infeasible to pull these satellites out of orbit either. You need a whole mission to capture one. All we can do is wait for these satellites to fall out of orbit on their own. The space debris issue is a major concern. Most countries' space agencies caution against attacking satellites as military targets. One collision or explosion leads to more collisions. Eventually, there will be so much junk up there, no one can fly at all. In space, we don't just need to shield ships. The astronauts require protection too. Outside the safe cocoon of Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field, deadly radiation is everywhere. Subatomic particles zip around at close to the speed of light. Anyone or anything in their way gets bombarded. Aside from cancer, space radiation can also cause cataracts and Alzheimer's. When these particles strike atoms of aluminum in a spacecraft hull, their nuclei explode. This emits even more superfast particles called secondary radiation. Because of this, astronauts all require protective layers in their spacesuits. There's a reason the suits are so bulky and heavy. Experts suggest that plastics could be a solution to this. They're light and strong, and they're full of hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen atoms don't produce much secondary radiation. NASA is currently testing plastics that can mitigate radiation in space. Alternatively, we could use magnets as well. 
scientists are working on a project called the Space Radiation Superconducting Shield. This is a magnesium diboride superconductor that can deflect charged particles away from a ship. It works at a very cold temperature, minus 263 degrees Celsius. This temperature isn't achievable naturally on Earth, but in space, the average temperature is minus 270 degrees Celsius. Lastly, even if you manage to escape gravity, the lack of it also creates various issues. From past space trips, we've discovered that weightlessness has a negative effect on the body. It disables certain immune cells and causes red blood cells to explode. It gives you kidney stones. It weakens your heart. It causes loss of muscle mass and bone mass. Even with all the exercise astronauts in the ISS do, they can't fully mitigate these issues. The logical solution would be to invent artificial gravity. This can be done via a centrifuge, but to generate 24-7 gravity, the spacecraft itself would have to become the centrifuge. A basic centrifugal spaceship could be shaped like a dumbbell with two chambers connected by a truss or bridge. As it gets easier to send more mass into space, designers could become more ambitious. It's safe to say there are many challenges limiting us from exploring space on a larger scale. From technological limitations to the weaknesses of our bodies, hopefully, we'll be able to overcome these in time. Further exploration of space will open up many avenues. This includes the potential discovery of alien life. Make sure to comment below on what your thoughts are, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to tune in next week.